This is how Bitcoin will react to today's presidential elections in the United States, guys. Be prepared. Bam! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, today talking, of course, in the news about the presidential elections in the United States. Is it going to be Trump? Is it going to be Kamala? What will it do to Bitcoin? I'm going to jump into that. Of course, also showing some amazing charts what happened to Bitcoin in the last election periods, whatever happened to Bitcoin in the last couple of bull market cycles. Also zooming in a little bit and ending the video with an inspirational quote that fits to today's subjects perfectly guys now let's quickly jump into the news first Bam. of course the news for today is the united states presidential elections is taking place today will it be kamala will it be trump you all know that i prefer trump would win because i just think trump is way better for the united states than kamala not just because of bitcoin because of everything. The Kamala Biden camp, we have seen that now for a couple of years. This is like destroying the United States. It's destroying the world. It's just creating and it's just hungry for wars. More war, more war. All over the world, war. That happened during that regime. I'm more peaceful, anarchist, love type of guy. So I prefer a non-war situation all over the world. Now the question that you all have is, what will the Bitcoin price do when Trump wins or when Kamala wins? What is the difference? Let me give you a clear answer. Bitcoin doesn't give a fuck who will be the next president. Again, Bitcoin will not give a fuck about who is the next president. We need to make a song about that one. And why doesn't Bitcoin give a fuck? Did Bitcoin give a fuck in the last three or four bull cycles? Many different presidents. Bitcoin didn't give a fuck. Bitcoin just kept going up. And yes, of course, short term, some volatility as maybe the speculations are that Trump will win and that that would be more positive for Bitcoin because, you know, he's very positive of Bitcoin. He's even saying Bitcoin could be a world reserve currency, backing the United States dollar again. Kamala is not that pro Bitcoin yet, but she will be forced as well. Of course, in the end, she can't like deny the amount of people supporting Bitcoin all over the world and the strength it would give to the United States economy as well. So she can't deny it. She's slowly now coming into the Bitcoin camp and trying to become more positive as well. Of course, we know her true colors. At least we know them. She doesn't even know who she is himself, herself, but we know the true colors. But both of the situation, Bitcoin will say, fuck it. I don't care who you are. Trump, Kamala, Biden, or from whatever president name it will be. I don't know. I, he does, Bitcoin doesn't care who the Queen of England is. Bitcoin doesn't care who the minister president of the United Netherlands is. Bitcoin just doesn't give a fuck about all of you. Bitcoin is decentralized. Bitcoin doesn't depend on presidents, on queens, on kings, on normal people. It doesn't depend on anyone. It just is there, up and running, because a shitload of nodes and Bitcoin miners are supporting the Bitcoin blockchain. And of course, every four year cycle, there is a halving which will push the price higher because the miners need to break even. And if at that halving, Trump is the president, or Kamala, or Biden, or we don't have a king but a queen in the Netherlands, Bitcoin doesn't give a fuck. Bitcoin just continues the move that it always makes. It has already been the best performing asset for the last decade, and it will become the best performing asset for the next decades. And that is why institutional investors, and retail investors, and countries all are buying Bitcoin, even the banks trying to become custodial servers for Bitcoin. Why? Because they know, they can see clearly, it has been the best performing asset, and they understand mathematics, only 21 million Bitcoins available, and it will take to the year 2140 before the last Bitcoin will be mined. So they understand that if they calculate right, that this will also be the best performing asset in the upcoming decades. There is only 21 million Bitcoins available at the end. The demand is growing tremendously. Every year, more demand. The supply is decreasing every four years, the new supply to the market. You all know what will happen when the demand is way bigger than the supply. That is when the Bitcoin price again increases. And it doesn't give a fuck again about who is the president. Probably when Trump becomes president, we will get a short-term pump 
probably as Kamala becomes president, we get a short-term dump because there's less trust in the economy when she is ruling the United States. You know, that's, that's going to be like a disaster. So people lose trust in the whole economy and then they take like dumps. They dump. They want to play it safe. They want to go into stable coins or whatever it is. They still think the US dollar is a stable coin. It's slowly raping them from behind on the back end because, of course, the inflation. But let those people still dream about dollars and euros. We know better. But in the long term, whatever president it is, it will pump as hell. Believe me. We all didn't like Biden being elected as a president. We all at that moment said, that guy is too old to run the country. That guy is like not even, that's like almost retarded. This guy can't be winning the presidential elections four years ago. He did win. What did Bitcoin do? Bam, 70K. Bitcoin didn't give a fuck. If you are senile, retarded, Bitcoin just didn't give a fuck. Bitcoin just went up. This time will be exactly the same. If it is Trump or Kamala, Bitcoin doesn't care. Bitcoin will have a massive bull market year in 2025, all the way to the top above 120K. I think even to 160K. And yes, with Trump, we will see a pump this year already, all the way to maybe 100K in December, pull back again to 70K in January, February, bam up another time in 2025. But also when Kamala will be elected, maybe a small dump now, then that same pump. Bitcoin really doesn't care. Please understand it. But for the safety of the United States people, for the safety of people all over the world, I just truly hope that Trump will win. So if I would be able to vote, I would vote for Trump because I don't want a world that is filled with war. I want a world that is filled with peace and love. And I think Trump has done a better job in that, with peacekeeping, than Kamala Biden camp has been doing the last four years. And Kamala, still same like Biden, will continue their warfare because the Democrats just want war. They want more. That's how they make money. Now, that was the news for today. A little bit long. Let's jump into the charts. The first chart for today, guys, is this amazing four-hour chart showing us this amazing area of support. Why is this support? I'm just repeating it every time again and again because I just want to educate as much as possible people. I will draw a rectangle over here, guys, so you can see why that is support. This is most clear maybe like this. Look how often we came into this green box here that was resistance. We couldn't break it. When we broke it, we came back to retest it, and that is where the support is. Resistance is turning into support. We need to keep this as support, so move up from here to see like a new autumn high even in this month. The presidential elections are happening today, so they will have influence on the move. I will show you in a minute, guys. So beautifully, again, that sell signal there. That was a good sell signal in the Bitcoin family indicator over there. This one, there we closed down below the yellow stepping line. We can see the blue line was below the red line. We were at very high levels, 83 levels over there. We could see a red bar appear over there in the bottom. We can even see the green declining, the yellow starting, the red line on top. There was many confirmations of this short to take. Would that be an exit here in this buy signal? No, as there was still a lot of yellow and blue on the bottom. The blue line was still down below the white line. You could have stayed in and you could still be in still till here because we didn't close a new candle above the stepping line. It is still the red line on top, yellow and blue. The blue line still below the white line. So taking profits on the short would happen either if we close above the other stepping line or we see a buy signal, then you need to take some profits, guys. Short term, zooming out to the weekly, this candle is going to close in five days and 21 hours. That candle should be closing above the 68,350 line. That's a green line. That would be very positive because this again that we can see over here, in my opinion, is a bullish candle. This is a bullish candle, that one. Ah, you can't see it now anymore. Maybe I should do it like this. This candle is a bullish candle. So yes, this could now look like bearish, but when the elections happen today, I think that can turn bullish and become a green candle. And that clear candle is going to close and probably around this level over there. That's the resistance. Why the resistance? I will do it another time just to teach you the difference between support and resistance. Look at that area. Every time that we came into that box, there we came in, we came down, resistance, 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 resistance. This will be resistance. If you break it, we will find the top here where the wicks went, and that will be then the closing, I think, of the candle. Let's see. I have some more amazing charts in line for you guys, and we are going to jump into them right now. The first one is this one. 
my preview chart here. And this is showing you the presidential elections, what happened in the last couple of times, over here in 2012, over here in 2016, over there in 2020, those yellow circles, that is when the presidential elections happened. Every time, as well the S&P 500 as the Bitcoin price pumped massively after the elections. Both of them pumped. So now again, we will see elections in 2024. And from that moment, I expect a pump in the Bitcoin price and also in the stocks and S&P 500, guys. Simple as that. I don't think this time is different. If you go to this chart, also showing you the amount of pump that we had in those periods. Here you can see that, for example, in the 2012 elections, there was a pump of 11,000 900%. In the 2016 elections, was over there, we had a pump of 3,575%. In the 2020 elections over there, we had a pump of 478%. Now in 2024, I believe even if we just have a pump of 300% or 200%, it will still bring us to a price of 140,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. It's just simple as that. I can't make it more simple than this, guys. Now, then we have this chart. I already showed this one yesterday. Just to repeat it again, because everything today is about the elections. Every time when there were presidential elections, there we had a massive pump after. There we had a massive pump after. There we had a massive pump after. It doesn't look massive to you, but this is just from 20K-ish areas all the way up to 70K. There, now we have the elections. There will be a massive pump after, guys. Every time. Why? Who wins? Doesn't matter. If it is Kamala or Trump, Bitcoin doesn't give a shit about it. Bitcoin has pumped for Biden. Bitcoin has pumped for the president that was before that. Was it Obama? I don't even know. And before that as well. I don't know the presidents. I don't care. Bitcoin doesn't care. Bitcoin pumped every time, whoever it was. Why? Because they turn on the money printer to save their economy. Their money will flow into the rich people and the rich people will flow the money into store of values like Bitcoin and gold. That's how it works. That's how economy works. It doesn't matter who will win, guys. Now, do we have more charts? Yes, I have more charts for you. Wow, beautiful charting day. This one is the price divided by the 100 week MA and it's telling you we have not topped out yet. We are now, if you look to 2017, around this area. That is where we are. We still need to do all those red dots. If you compare to 2020, 21, we are now in this area. We still need to do these red dots. We are now here. This is nothing. We need to go in there. Probably somewhere, let's see, if I would draw a line, maybe I can draw a line in this program as well. Let's see, yeah, there is a line. Maybe I can draw a line from that top, and then touch all those other tops. Look, something like this. So yes, we could go to that level there on the tops here, something like that. That is still the upward potential for Bitcoin, guys. So yes, we are still not there. We still need to get all these red dots and these red dots will tell us that Bitcoin is overbought. Before that, I don't believe the top is in. Do I have more charts? Yes, I have one more chart. Let this one also be very clear. This one is showing you where we are at the moment we are there. And if we would compare that to the bull markets of 2018 to 2021, or the bull market of 2014 to 2017, so the blue or the yellow line, that would mean that if the black one line would follow one of those, we would end up somewhere over there or somewhere over there. If we would outperform it, I will draw it one more time. If we would underperform those lines, I would draw it one more time. We can still end up like do going up, going down, going up, something like that, all the way into November 2025, somewhere to this area there, guys. 160 Ks before we go into a bear market again. That's still a possibility. If we would perform like the previous market, we would go to this level over there, 250 K. If we would perform a little bit higher than the previous market because that was a double top and now we would make a single top then we would even reach 500k guys that is like beautiful drawing it's like a picasso but you know what i mean so that is my take on the charts for today guys let's jump into the next part i hope you really enjoyed the charts yes amazing to see how every time when there is a presidential election it falls together with the halving year bitcoin pumps and I expect exactly the same to happen now again. Zoom out, 
look at the bigger picture, another four years, another eight years, maybe another 12 years, and your capital will only be growing. And not only your capital will be growing because you sell at the bull market top, you buy at the bear market bottom, you sell at the top, you buy at the bottom. That's how you grow your capital. But because your capital is expressed in Bitcoin, it's twice the power. Why? The amount of Bitcoins and capital is growing, but the purchasing power is even growing harder because you will be able to buy more and more and more for one single Bitcoin. And the opposite thing is what's going to happen to your US dollar. You will be able to buy less and less and less for one US dollar. So the more you play this four year cycle, sell top, buy bottom, increase your amount of Bitcoin, plus increasing the purchasing power because the value of those Bitcoins that you accumulated is also increasing every four years. That is the power of living the Bitcoin standard. That is exactly what we as a family have been doing now already for two to three bull cycles. So this is what you should be doing as well because this is what works. Bitcoin is an asset that works. Fiat shitcoin currencies like euros and dollars, they don't work. They destroy your purchasing power because of inflation and they just don't increase in value. They fuck you over every time again because you believe in the euro and dollar. Sorry that I said fuck a lot of times in this video. Fuck it. Today is a fuck it day. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, that were the charts. Let's jump into the crypto tip. And the crypto tip for today, again, I already said it yesterday, is going to be Papu Ninja. Why? Bam. Article on Cointelegraph. This is a really cool project, guys. It's going to launch today. The token launch will be today on a decentralized exchange, tomorrow on a centralized exchange. Be prepared. There's a shitload of people, 1.6 million users of their Telegram mini app already that have been doing a shitload of tasks, many tasks like retweeting, Instagram likes, posting more videos. They all understand what this project has been building the last couple of months. So this is going to go live today and tomorrow, the token. These tokens will be airdrop. Of course, the token will be listed. Of course, those people will receive value for all the work that they have been doing in the last couple of months. And of course, they will be selling those tokens as well. But they will also understand that this project is not ready yet. There is still a game that's going to be launched, a really cool addictive game. I've been playing the game already because I had a preview of the game. It's addictive. Believe me, it's addictive. You want to beat the high score. You want to beat my high score. I don't think you will see it, but this game is going to be cool. So that will drive even more demand to this token. I'm not going to say more. I'm just going to say, read the Cointelegraph article, Papu Ninja, going live today. This is my tip of the day. I already told you all three months ago, you should be starting to play those games create an airdrop uh, volume. Today is the moment they will go live. Check the article. Now, let's jump into the inspirational quote. The inspirational quote for the day is, we cannot solve problems with a way of thinking that we came up with those problems. And that all has to do, of course, with the presidential elections. We can't solve those problems that ben Kamala and Biden created by again you trying to use Kamala and Biden to solve those problems because they are still thinking the same. You need something new, a new person that thinks different. He will be able to solve those problems. And it has also to do with yourself. Whenever you walk into a problem, you came to that problem because of the way you were thinking. If you want to solve that issue in your life, you need to change your way of thinking. You can't be thinking the same way to solve that problem because your brain will tell you, no, you chose to do it like this. This is the right way. This is right. If you want to change or solve that problem, change the way you think. Look at that problem from a different angle. And the moment you look at that problem from a different angle, with a different mindset, you will be able to analyze it in a different way and to solve it. That's the only way. You can't keep running the hamster wheel and expect something to change in your life. It just won't happen. You need to change your mindset, change the way of thinking, change the way of living, change the way, maybe from materialistic to minimalistic, whatever it is, change something to solve the issue that you're running into every time again and again and again. We won't be able to solve problems with the way of thinking that we created those problems. Change that way of thinking and you will change your problem and probably you will solve your problem and it will make life way more easy than always stuck 
with this vision of just this, just, you know, how do you call it? Tunnel vision, just this is the solution. This is how it should be. This is how it should be. No, it's not like that. It could be this. Open your mind. Change the way you think and look at certain issues in your life. That's the way to solve it. Not by doing the same thing that you came up with those issues and problems. And that definitely is important today. Definitely important for Americans to understand that Kamala and Biden opened the borders, created a shitload of issues in the United States, inflation in the United States, robberies in the United States, criminals into the United States. That's all Biden and Kamala, their way of thinking. Do you believe they changed? I think they are still the same old people that still think the same way. You need a new leader that thinks different, that doesn't want war, that wants to solve all the issues in the United States, and that is at the moment Trump. That's the only one at the moment on the list that could do it. Of course, if there would be a younger guy that has the same mentality and mindset as Trump, yeah, I would also vote for him, but not for the Democrats that just want war. That was everything for today, guys. Change the way you're thinking. That's how you change everything. Maybe even change the way how you think about Bitcoin. Maybe you will then start to understand that Bitcoin should be your core capital, that Bitcoin is a store of value. Everything you own, all your savings should be in. That is how you increase your capital and your purchasing power in the next four to eight to 12 years not by the same way of thinking that you always did. Keeping your euros and dollars on a bank account because that is safe. It is not safe. The numbers on your bank account stay the same, but the purchasing power is dropping every year. So it's not the same. That's the wrong way of thinking. You need to change your way of thinking about that. Start to believe in Bitcoin. Accumulate as much as possible Bitcoin. Change your life completely forever, guys. That's everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. What do you think about the news? What do you think about the charts? And what do you think about the inspirational quote? And the tip for today. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.